Okay, welcome back to KSP Land on Everything Edition. So, last time we uh, we spent a little bit more money. Well, we spent a little bit more research. But, but we got some science stuff that we can do. So what I'm going to do now is build the R-4, the R-1-6. The R-1-6, obviously we're going to have materials like Research Bay. And we're going to have, um, what else did it get? We're still not using liquid engines. We're still not using liquid fuel. It's all solid fuel. That's the rule with the, with the R series. It's all solid fuel. Everything I make, going to be solid fuel. Uh, that being said, we can do a lot with solid fuel. We've been doing a lot with, with these with these solid boosters. So these are the batteries, so we'll be able to transmit shit instead of having to save it. Um, let's see. We could... I'm, I kind of want to send a satellite. Like I, I kind of want to send a, a State Putnik up there. Actually, if I was playing this the way I usually roleplay these things... I, like, edit the file so the Stay Putnik's in there first instead of this. Because it makes sense that you'd send a satellite up before a person, but these are Kerbals. So, you know, I could real quick just, like, jerry-rig a satellite. Like, just take the Stay Putnik module and put it up there. That would look like a really, really dumb-looking satellite. But I think, well... Nah, because that's a really dumb-looking satellite. I want to... I want to get that fucking shroud so I can build the R2 before I start doing that shit. I want to get I want to get the shroud, and I want to get the mech jeb before I build the R2. <laughs> so we're going to be stuck on these R1s for a fucking while. <laughs> Unless I, I'm able to, to, like, really spam the science, which I might be able to do. Especially with this. So I'm going to call this the R6, um, the R-1-6, um, this is not going to be the final design, this is just me, like, tinkering around with it for a little bit, actually, you know what, I'm going to fly it real quick and, and get that, get that easy money, I'm going to get the easy money on the, uh, materials bay and just have it open up and do shit on the pad, then take it back. And you're going to watch. All right, real quick. Observe materials. Oh, shit, there are materials there. Five science, easy money. And let me just do everything else. Like, I don't know if I've taken the temperature from the pad yet. I haven't. Uh, can I... What about the magnets? Have I done magnets on the pad? I have not done magnets on the pad, apparently. All right, six is good. Recover vessel. <laughs> Recover vessel. Six is fine. Come on. All right, so now we're at 29. I want to get that shroud. I want to get that fucking shroud. The shroud and the reaction wheels. But I'm like nerfing myself for everything. I think the big the big problems that I'm running into now are that I can't really edit these, so I'm going to take those out. And I'm not going to use any of the liquid fuels. I can't use the liquid fuels. Instead, I'm going to I'm just going to do this. Two solid fuel boosters that are Those are not those are not aligned. Come on, come on. Those are aligned. Sort of. Those are sort of aligned. And sort of aligned is just fine. Uh, so those need to activate when that activates. So that's going to go up here. And then... These will activate... Uh, when this activates... No, wait. Wait, 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 wait. 
This, this, these will activate when this activates because we're doing that. And then these will activate on this. And these will have fins for aerodynamicness and nose cones for extra aerodynamicness and some struts because I, I fucking have struts. So we can have super extra aerodynamicness by adding a bunch of struts. I don't know how realistic struts are in this game. I don't think very. But again, I'm not Scott Manley. I am not a super science person. So I do not know. They could be extremely accurate. I just doubt it very much. At least I know that no matter what, I'm more in, I'm 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 smarter than fucking Kent Hovind. I know that no matter what, I am smarter than some kind of weird mutant person that learned how to speak and is now Kent Hovind. <laughs> I don't know why I'm suddenly riffing on Kent Hovind. I don't know. Put these on. This is gonna have just a fuck bunch more thrust um on the pad like the first stage is going to be able to just have ridiculous acceleration there we go and we will use struts struts are like super glue you know you know if your shoes fall apart super glue that is just disturbingly sad I don't know why I said that. Ignore that I, that I said that. Boom. And boom. And boom. And then this. And then this. And now we have the R-6. <laughs> this goofy looking fucking ship. But it's got way more science on it. And the first mission is going to be, once again, it's going to be space. Because fuck it. We need more spaceships spacing around in their space base. Face space. All right. And we're going to use Jeb because Jeb doesn't get to go to space a whole lot. Actually, no, Bob. Because if I get Bob, I can reset this materials bay and do it twice. All right. This will go at the same time as this. So these will go first, then that'll decouple, and these, wait, this will decouple, and then these will go up, these will blow when that blows, and then what's this? Okay, so those will go when that goes, and the center one goes, and then these will go after that goes. And then once these are go, that'll go, and then those will activate. Except I need these to go before then. So those will activate, and then the center one will activate. Okay. Complicated as hell. But we're, we're saving up for that R2. We need that R2. Damn it, R2. I think once I get the R2, I'm going to do, like, R2A, R2D, just, just so I can do an R2D2 rocket. Look at him. Bob is fucking nervous, because Bob has never gone to space. Well, Bob, you're about to go to space. Here we go. So, so far, this actually lifts up pretty damn good. R6 actually goes pretty good. This might be more stable. <laughs> I'm, I'm having a flashback. Am I going to have to, like, rapidly get Bob out of there? No, I think it's actually... No, it's listing. It's listing off to the side here. Something must be off balance. That's okay. This only... This, this fucking rocket only needs to work, like, twice. Twice. If I can get the science right, it only needs to work twice. Boom. Boom. All right. Just just fucking don't don't die. 
as those solid rocket boosters go creening down to some unknown fucking spot, crushing a couple of Kerbal workers. Alright, 10,000. Going, we're getting up there. And that's all three of them. And then these will go up, and then... We just... Here, you know what? Actually, I have a thought. We need to run the ups. We need to run this now. Because when we get to space, Bob can reset it, and then we can run it again, and then... Yeah, we can do it three times. Boom. All right. Just, just stay aligned. Stay aligned and stay moving towards space. Come on. Just, just keep going to space. We're in space. Boom. All right. Decouple that. Okay. How high are we going to go? 185 is... That's, that's respectable. That's respectable. Let's get us up to 100. Have Bob go out there and get the science. 185 is respectable. That's fine. All right. EVA, Bob. Boom. All right. Here we go. Get the science out of here. Collect data. Restore the thing. All right. Go up. Oh, right. Oh, he's a scientist. Right. So I can observe it while I'm up here. Collect that data again. And reset materials bay again. All right. And while you're up here, can you do an EVA report and get some more science? Wait, what? Observe materials bay. While in space near Kerbin. Okay. All right, good. Okay, keep experiment. All right. Collect data. Remove data. All right, now restore thing. How hard is that? It's not hard at all. Okay, now get in here. F, grab, B, born. All right. So now what we're going to try to do is I'm going to try to go this way. No real reason. I just want to try it. All right, well. Here we go. Come on, stay. Stay stable. These will actually burn a lot longer than the ones we had before. The R-1-6 is a much, much more powerful animal than the R-5 and 4 and 3. 2 and 1. Come on. All right, so what'd that end up doing? Also, cool beans, we can jettison this now. We don't need these. Oh, shit! Oh, we can get to the poles! We have to try it. We have to try for it. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get to the... What the fuck? No! No, oh, God! Damn it! Damn it! We almost got to the fucking pole! Damn it! Alright, well... New test! Can the materials base survive re-entry? So that'll be the new test. So let's see if we can get it all the way up here. I don't even know where we're heading. It's probably somewhere that we've that we've gotten. Well, no matter where we land, if we can get to, like, if we can get the uh, the materials bay, like, if we can get it anywhere, we're 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 golden. If we can get that anywhere, we're golden. All right. So we're hitting we're hitting some some fucking rough spots here. 
overheating in somewhere. So, uh, those are the batteries. That's the materials. But ah, fuck, 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 fuck. Ah, ah, ah. Damn it. Ah, shit, 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 shit. Shit, 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 oh god! Oh fuck! Oh. Ah. Ah. Decouple! Boom! Alright, well that failed! Okay! <laughs> okay! So we're not getting the materials bay here. Uh, probably not wise to have the shoots out. Like, at this altitude or in this angle. So, where are we? Grassland? Oh, okay, we don't... We don't have everything in grassland yet. You know, we, we got some temperature. We can, we can get some science here. We can get some science in the grassland. That's fine. Anything like what's what is that? What's that debris? Oh, it's one of the boosters. No one. Oh, it, all right, decoupler. All right. Okay, fine. We almost made it though. Almost. We almost had that. You all saw. Boom. There we go. Make it down to the. Oh God. Cut, shoot. Cut, shoot. Come on. Ooh, trees. I can probably get Bob out and, like, get him onto the ground, but I don't want to do that again. Space Weasel. And Space Weasel again. All right. Okay. That's fine. And hit the ground. Boom. And the ground's having a heart attack because things. Log that. Get pressure data. Get, you know, temperature data. Yeah, we, we can, okay, so we can get some science out of this. That's fine. EVA report. Drop down. Take surface sample. Six. Yep, looks like dirt. Get in there. Board. All right. Okay, we, we got we got some science. We got some shit done. And we got, you know, we, we have a lot of data. So let's go ahead. We can recover vessel. Let's see what our haul was. Hopefully, hopefully it gets us that shroud. And it gets it gets us closer to I wanna get that shroud and I wanna get mech jab. So hopefully it can do that. Eighty. Eighty. Ten more science and we can get the uh, just ten more. Actually I can get flight control. That'll get us a long way. Nah, we're gonna get we're gonna get you know what? Flight fuck it, flight control. And here's why. That goddamn inline reaction wheel. Okay, so... So here's what I'm gonna do. And this is gonna sound really weird. But here's what, I'm gonna, what I wanna do. Now that I have that reaction wheel... Do I have... Do I have power? No, I got batteries. So here's what I wanna do. I want to take this off. I want to add a Mechjeb unit to this. And I want to add a heat shield to this. So what I'm planning is that this thing, when we, when we do re-entry, this will decouple from this. So this will decouple first, and then that'll decouple. And then once this parachute activates, I can switch over to here. 
the Mechcheb will act as a data core, and I can switch to that. And then I can activate a parachute. Where are the parachutes again? They're over here. I can activate a parachute. I'm going to activate a couple of parachutes because I can. And that needs to be staged correctly. This all needs to be staged correctly. So that's the new plan. And also, I have that reaction wheel so I can put it on here and actually have some control over the fucking thing for once. And this will be the R-6-1. Boom. The R-1-6-1. The 161. This will be the R-161. And you know what? Fuck it. Let's make it even more, more insane. I'm going to give it even greater range. I'm going to put these here. And put some solid boosters up here. Now this is not the most aerodynamic craft. But. With enough of these. Anything can be made aerodynamic. These will go here. And these will go here. And these will have uh, aerodynamic caps on them. And I can change the color? Can I change all the color? No? Shit. Alright. So here's how these will work. Once these decouple... And this is, uh... This, this will have already decoupled, I think. Those will go. Then this will decouple. But instead of these rockets going, alright? These rockets will go. These will decouple. <laughs> Look at the fucking staging. Uh, these will go. These rockets will... Wait. Okay, so this... This will de decouple. <laughs> this will decouple. These will go. This will decouple. Then these two will go. And then that will decouple. And then these three will go. And then that will decouple. And then these two will go. And then that will... And then, uh, then these will decouple... And then that'll go, and then I do the rest myself. Okay. Everyone clear on that? All right. Now. Now fucking, fucking break. Fucking launch. Launch. Ah, shit. I just remembered something. The materials bay needs a fucking battery on it. God damn it. Because without it, the mech jeb doesn't have any fucking power. But, eh. Eh, fuck. No, no, no. Revert flight. Yeah, no. We need, we need fucking, we need, we need the fucking battery pack. We need the battery pack. Before I launch, we need the battery pack. It doesn't even have to be a lot of battery packs. Just like two. Two will be just fine, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna put them. Um. Uh, fuck it. Two will be fine. I'll radial mount them. Put them on here. Do the trick where you do this, and so they're protected. So there, boom. All right, save, launch. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Actually, I have mech jab. I can do ascent guidance. But we've launched every other fucking thing on here by hand, so fuck it. Here we go. It's a lot heavier, so it's taking a lot more energy to get this thing up here. I'm hoping that these three middle one will be able to take care of this. And I'm just now realizing how horrifically unstable this rocket's actually going to be once the, those middle ones activate. 
just now thinking about that. Yikes. Well, that's part of, that's the fun of science. That's the power of math. Boom! All right. Oh God, that is that is that is just going awful. That is going awful. That is being awful. Ah! Uh, now that needs to activate. These need it. Well, maybe they don't. Maybe they don't. Maybe we can. Come on. Come on. No. No, don't. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't fall. Come on. Activate. Activate. Detach. Boom. All right, so we're gonna... We're going kind of retrograde as far as our, our potential. Oh, fuck. 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 Come on. <laughs> Come on. Stabilize. Stabilize, 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 stabilize. Come on. Ah, stabilize. No, 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 you're going the wrong direction. You're going the wrong direction. Come on, stabilize. Stabilize. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right, you're stabilizing, but you're going down. No. Ah, decouple. All right, let's see if I can, let's see if I can, I can remedy the situation. We're like, we're not going to make it to space, folks. I don't think we're going to make it to space in, in the R-1- The R, I don't think the 161 is space worthy. Ah, uh, shit, yeah. Ugh. Whoa. Oh, fuck. EVA, bail. Uh, deploy shoot. Ah! Oh, okay. Alright, Bob survived. Ugh. Fuck. Oh. oh, that was rough. That was rough. Boom. Oh, man. Wow. Okay. I don't think the 161 design works. But at least Bob survived. <laughs> Tune in next time to see the redesign that I have to do before... I need... I want that fucking shroud before I build the R2, okay? I want that fucking shroud.